the President's reed symbolizes the memorial tribute of a nation at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Later, in the amphitheater overlooking 44,000 graves of soldier dead, Mr. Roosevelt is to be listener rather than spokesman, the orator's privilege being given to the AEF commander, General Pershing. It does seem amazing that civilized nations should continue to adhere to war as an element of national policy. Even now, less than a score of years after the World War, armies and armaments are being rapidly multiplied until in many countries the burden seems wholly unbearable. It is almost axiomatic to say that a people who complacently submit to unreasonable demands of a clamorous minority will certainly become the prey of a dictator. This nation, as one of the great powers, can do no less in the fulfillment of its manifest duty to humanity than to make the most earnest and devoted effort for the preservation of world peace.